And I want you to shake my hand okay. while you stay there, please. Sure. How are you? It's good to see you again. How are you? Good, it's so you? good to see you again. Oh, thank you. Okay, we've done the deal. It's not to say he's going to be perfect, but anything after this of being mean to me is totally and completely and absolutely unacceptable and is going to be dealt with as such. Hi. <laughs> Bring him back over there by that, tr dirt, that trash can. Tell him sit his butt down. Come back. Tell him sit. Hi, how are you? Good, how are oh, it's you? so good to see you. you. Pop, walk him over there. Walk him over there. This is my most in-depth and thorough video about dogs that bark and lunge at people due to protection and resource guarding. Protection is noble. Resource guarding is obnoxious is what I always say. That's why when they came in, I shook both their hands. We cannot correct a dog who thinks it's protecting the family. These two individuals shook my hand and they accepted me into their life. They need to let him know that I am an okay person that was done at the beginning. And then after that, they need to treat the behavior. You need to treat the behavior like it is unacceptable because it is unacceptable. We're not even at this dog's house. This is a very informative video. I hope you get something from it. I want you on the next one to go over there. I want you to do a little extra pop and I want you to stand there and look at him. We're not freaking doing yeah. this right now. Yeah. You, and, and that's, it's, no, it's more of a dominant thing. So I want you to walk away. I want you to go pop. And I want your whole energy to be like, like, I, do you think I'm messing around? Do you really think I'm messing around right now? Like, it, it, I am so not messing around. Like, the most you've ever been. The distance away from the family is the true correction. Then we're going to add no-nonsense daddy to it as a little extra knock this nonsense off. But the, the distance is 80% of this, just okay. so you know. Do you know that? That's the thing. That correction doesn't matter. Mm. The, the, the you're farther away from these two is really the punishment. The leash correction will rarely suffice as enough punishment to get rid of the behavior because the behavior of barking at a person and that person leaving because 99.9% .9 of the time the person leaves upon the bark or the owners pet the dog or the dog barks then gets closer to the owners is the reinforcement. Here's going to be a bark right there. The owner's on it. He's going to do a sit. He's no nonsense. Now he's got a tight leash right there, right here. Watch, I say loosen the leash right there. Then he loosens the leash. Why is that important? Because he's got to do something different. I don't really care if it's a tight or loose leash. The owner has to do different things because you, the viewer, this owner, you guys have done the same thing and it's not working. If you're watching this video at this point and you have a leash reactive dog, what you have done is not working. So touching the dog differently is important. So he had a tight leash, I said loosen the leash. If he had a loose leash, I'd, I might say tighten the leash. Now I want you to watch this dog right now. He's gonna bark at me and I have to do normal stuff. I have to be a normal person. I, I can look at a dog. Ready, watch the down right here. He says down, the dog's take three steps forward. That's not the down that the owner asked. That's a down, then the dog said, yeah, but I'll do it three feet closer to mom. That was That is an opportunity, so I told him to turn around and go five feet the other way. That's an opportunity for the owner to say, no, 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 that's not good enough, and it makes an impression on the dog's brain. Look at him now, look at his owner a little more. I'm gonna take the leash. Not because I think me taking the leash is going to fix the dog. I do not. But these people have to watch me and the no-nonsense attitude I have with dogs so that he can copy me. And then he's going to try to bite me in a minute. Like I'm just walking into him. I just want them to kind of see my energy. I've talked about energy a couple times in this video. Energy is a hard thing to describe and it's to some degree a hard thing for the viewer to see on a video. There's a lot of very subtle things to energy, and I'm going to explain it more later in this video. But it's the way you carry yourself. It's the confidence you carry yourself. It's the timing of what you do. That's energy. Now, he's going to try to bite me right here, and I'm not having it. You, you can't try to bite people because you feel like it, because you're a little stressed. They brought him to me for biting people or for attempting to bite people. I am no nonsense with this guy. He needs to learn 
that there are consequences when you try to bite somebody. If anybody has a problem with this, any trainer, all you need to do is show me a video of you helping a dog like this, and then we can have a very civil conversation. Until then, you don't get to have that conversation. All right. Just watch me like a hawk. I'm not saying it's the same. It's different, but watch me like a hawk. How are you? Good, how are Come you? on up. Sit. Stay. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. You want to meet my dog? Okay. Sit. Down. Okay. This is my friend Laura. Will you pet my dog please calmly? Good. Perfect. Perfect. Good. I realize it's different. I know it's different. It's a whole different thing. I get it. It's 20% and it's eight, it's 80 with you. But the energy, I know you can do this with a few changes. The relationship is different but you've got to do the mechanical stuff I did. Does that make sense? Okay, thank you. This is a dog that at this point is like, I'm not messing with this, with this guy. And remember at the beginning I said, the biggest change is I'm not messing with this guy. Like you, you gotta be, you gotta be me. It's gonna be harder, it's a big giant ship. It takes a lot, relationships, this big thing that takes a long time to turn around. That one, me getting mad at him, turned it around instantly. But you've got to get to this point because you're gonna, if you're me, you're gonna be able to meet anybody. He's just like, this guy's super mean and I'm not messing around. You're super mean and he's not messing around. I know it's, that's very blunt. And you don't wanna be mean guy all the time. You can be a nice guy 98% of the time. You're only on a walk 2% of the day and you're only, you're only um, people only come over 2% of the day. Sit. And then I just, you know, you gotta, you gotta up your mean daddy game. Hey, how are you? Nice oh my gosh, you. it's so good to see you. Yeah. Oh, I missed you so much. Anything towards me is a, is grounds for like okay. serious, serious, serious stuff. Laura, will you please come over? Good, talk to your friend. Hi, Hi Laura, nice to see you. Oh, nice to meet you guys. Talk yeah. to his dog. Hi, how this are is Charlie. You? Hi, Charlie. Yeah. Pop. Yeah. Harder. Sit. Sit. And down. Okay. I want you next time to pop, then walk over here. Then he's going to say, Yeah, but my mommy, you're going to go bink. Don't worry about your mommy. Then he's going to go, I'm going to turn this way to see my mommy. You're going to go bink. Yeah, well, you want to go that way. We're going this way. Sit. Like, even my. You know, my hands are like, sit your, <laughs> you know? Um, so let's re replay that. Right. Okay. Hi, Hi. Nice, to nice to see you. Nice to see Good you. Sit, Charlie. Who's this? This is Charlie. Hi, Charlie's Charlie. our German Shepherd. Very handsome. Yeah, he's, he's a feisty dog. Pop. Walk. Relax that leash a little bit. Sit. Sit. Come back. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're getting, getting at. Come sit here. Sit. Hi, guys. This Hi. is Charlie. I know. He, he's a nice boy. He oh, he's is. a nice German Shepherd, he isn't he? Be. Ah. Good job. Mm, and back. Nice. I think you got the point. That correction was clear enough. You can sometimes in your videos, you can see it click with the different dogs. Or it's like, oh, that was. Oh, he is a nice Hi, doggy. Dog. He is a nice doggy. Yeah. I want you to reinforce him by letting him go say hi to his mom. Okay, and let him okay. go say hi. And be, be in the group. Okay. Good. All right. Um, you are the protector of this family. He is, he is not right now with people he knows. So this is the single worst place for him to be. He still can't growl at me. So, now you gotta be careful where that leash is, but you are gonna give him a little bit of correction and you're gonna get him out of there if he does anything. 
You're the protector of these guys, not him. Okay? Oh, it's so good to see you again. Hi. Hi. Good job being ready. Good. Walk him away. I agree with you. I agree with you. Tell him sit and you're not happy. No. Yeah. Oh, it's a little slow. But he's looking at you, not at his mom, not worrying about the family, worrying about dad. Bring him back. Now, you might think this is like the other one. It's not. No, he's it right. One, he's right there. Sit. And like, here, let us let him back in here. Okay. Okay. Come. Sit. Yeah, you can say hi to his mommy. Aww. We love you. We love you. <laughs> Walk more. Good job. Yep. Yeah. Let him in? Sure. He and mom can pat him. Hello. You know I say you're the protector of this family. Like, like if that leash is a, in a horrible spot, flinging in front. Good. Did I miss a pop? I mean, maybe, maybe not. Um... Like, you got things under control. You do. I don't want to get super anthropomorphic, but, like, he thinks he needs to do it. Mm -hmm. Not because you haven't done it, but because who the hell knows why he thinks it. But he thinks it. And he's just like... Ah. Ah. Sit. Sit. And he's just like, get away from my family. Like, they're my family. Harder, harder. Keep walking him. Walk him like, like I did. Relax that leash. Walk, walk him away. Tell him sit. Pop him. They're too slow. It's too slow. Go bring him to water, please. So I believe just, oh my God. I believe your energy on that last one was better by like 30 to 40% and that's what's allowing this to happen. This is the exact same thing that happened last time except he lunged at me. Then you did a different thing on that energy when you pulled him away. Do you, I believe. So I was, I was better. More on top of it. The, the energy. Okay. Did you notice on that last pull away that walk around, we didn't just do a, I don't mean to say stupid because I'm the one that told you to do it many times. Yeah. A stupid pull him away 10 feet and put him in a down. Like I was like, keep walking, sit. I said, it's too slow. Like, like we gave him water, which doesn't matter. The energy from you was different. The energy was more like me. And I think that's what's allowing this to happen now. Yeah. We have, we have lost to a degree once the behavior has happened and we're pulling him off to the side at Home Depot and people are looking at us because we're being so mean to our dog, which is fine. And you should do that, yeah. but we've, it's, it's only so helpful. So Laura, you're going to walk up, you're going to stare at the dog, but I'm going to try to preemptively go, don't even think about it before the freak out. And I'm going to do that in a couple of ways. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Sit. Ah, I'm so, it's so, it's so hardcore. Stay. Hi. Yeah. This is my dog. You're a good boy. Oh, it's so good to see you again. It's so good to see you again. Will you walk right behind him? Bye-bye. Bye, hey, you're a good boy. You're a good dog. Let's go. And just kind of tamped him down before the person approached. Then did you see the snap? We can rewatch it. So there was a moment. I don't even think he did anything, but I just was like, don't forget about me. And I just did a snap and he literally like looked at her, not in a bad way. And then he just went like, Ooh, what's up? Yeah. We can rewatch the snap. It's the. You want to get some more water? Come on, come on. You're a good boy. You're a nice boy. You're a nice boy. That's what you are. You're a nice boy. 
You're a nice boy. You're a nice boy. You're a nice boy. Come on. I don't know another fix that is not a bit hardcore. That is not you being no nonsense with this dog. There's treat ways, there's e-collar ways, there's um, prong collar ways, um, but they all essentially, not all of them, but my way essentially ends up with, uh, you, don't, you don't mess around around this guy ever. And that's what we're trying to do. Or around this guy, you know? Whoever's got the leash. Who's ever got the leash? I want you to be there. This is worst situation ever. And we'll see if guy can't get in the mix. I agree. A growl and then he'll look away. If he would have kept looking at me, you know another growl's coming. Yeah. If he growls and then he just stays there looking at me, another growl is coming. So you might as well get it early. You know. I don't want to like trigger him, but I want to be normal too and like do things normal people do, you know? I mean, oh, that's a nice German Shepherd. Walk away, walk away, and don't do your down. And tell him sit. Oh, I love it. I love that pre sit correction. Come on back. Call me crazy, but you know, him just because he's in the middle of the family does not give him the right to growl at anybody. Laura, will you come in here? Just be me. Now, can you growl at this girl? Look how nice this girl, this young lady is. Like, mean Joel is one thing, you can't growl at her. Hi, how are you guys? One step closer, please. Thank you for coming over. Do you want me to look at him? Sure. Hi, Ken. Hi. Sure. Walk <laughs> away. Walk away. Sit. Always tempt. <laughs> uh -uh. Sit. Come back. Sit. Let me walk back up. Yeah. Walk, walk back up. Her petting him is not, does not mean he can growl at the nicest young lady in the world. Oh. You have to come closer because he's oh. also blind. Oh. That's good. Oh, wait, he can hear me. No. He can't see me or hear me. He's deaf and blind. But he's but got he's a little vision in his left eye that he has a blockage on his Calvin, this young man is the X factor. This dog thinks he needs to protect Calvin, but the parents protect Calvin. It is not his job to protect Calvin. It is the parents, and it is the parents' job to let him know, let the dog know that it is not his job. So that's good, because I was touching Calvin. Yeah. Which is a no-no for him. Yeah, but it is not a no-no, right? From trusted people, right? Okay. Okay, so it does, yeah, and you guys know that. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Um, you're, you got it. You got, you got it. You got Calvin's safety under your control. It doesn't matter what he thinks, what he wants. Hi. Hi. Hi, it's so good to see you Thank again. Thank you. Thank you for it's coming It's so good over. to see you. Sorry. Like, you are running the show. You don't care. You do not care. You are mean boss, mean daddy. And things are dealt with in a no-nonsense way from this, for, this point forward. And that's how this gets solved. You guys also have a unique situation. You do know that, right? Like, you're used to it. But to this dog, it's, it's a unique. Yeah. And that's why I was like, um, um, his, his safety is not his responsibility. You know? Everything is about energy and grabbing and displacement and, and energy. I don't know how to, it looks and walking in and touching and get your butt out of here and him 
being displaced out of the family. I let you pet him many times because I wanted to see him at his worst and reach over him. And, but that petting like should not be done casually. We don't need to give him a lot of comfort. No. Comfort's like the opposite of what he needs. I mean, he needs to be comfortable in life and there's a time for love, but not when people are around. So, no petting. Do you know why I came over here? Because you just petted him when he sat down. Right. Relax that arm. He's not. Okay. I, I saw you pet him, so I came over to see if he was going to growl at me, which he did. Mm. He might have done it without the pet, but like, it's enough petting when people are around. Okay, good. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yes. That's good to know. Yeah. He needs to be less uh, into mommy at this point, not more into mommy at this point. And petting makes him one with you. Yes. He's not one with you. No. You know? Now I'm creep, I'm, I don't want to move creepily, you know, but I want to move like a normal person. I would never pet him when there's a person in sight. Did you notice when I was happy with him and I was walking him over there to the water, all my uh, uh, reinforcement was talking. I was like, you're the best boy in the world, you're the best boy in the world, or there was no touching. Right. Yeah, touching is a weird thing that's super powerful.